on the strange acts of God. Good morning and welcome. Thank you, thank you for tuning in. Nalong Urechuku here, coming to you from Streams of Joy International, the home of what God cannot do does not exist. Yes, yes, this is the home of NSPPD. In case you're tuning in for the first time, NSPPD is a global interdenominational online prayer platform where hundreds of thousands of us gather every weekday to seek the face of God. It is a life-changing, life-enriching encounter with the presence of God that is birthing miracles, causing change, and stirring up a revival across every single continent of the world. Only this week, NSPPD turned two. Mm. Yes, yes, happy, happy birthday, NSPPD. And happy anniversary to all NSPPDians all across the world. God has been awesome. God has been amazing. It's been two years of glory, two years of power, two years of the supernatural. And appropriately so, it was themed our week of double, double portion to celebrate our two years anniversary and a double portion it has been. In a second, we're going to be reviewing some of the testimonies we saw in the course of the week. Now would be a good time to click on the share button if you are yet to. Someone needs to benefit from this. Someone needs to be blessed by the show today. Um, we have three amazing, profound, huge testimonies lined up for the show today. And joining me to review these testimonies is none other than friend to the show and our favorite consultant family physician, Dr. Kelechi is back with us in the house. Good morning, Dr. Kelechi. Good morning, Alon. Good morning. Good to have you back on The Strange Acts it's of so God. so good to be here. Happy anniversary Happy to you. Happy anniversary. <laughs> it's we our, are two. Yes, yeah, so it's really our anniversary. Yes, And for it is. everyone that has shared, mm. that has clicked on the link to yes. share, it is our anniversary. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for joining Thank us you today. So much. It's always a pleasure. Yes. We have three testimonies lined up today, and the first testifier is Sister Chinebum Pam from Lagos, Nigeria. Watch this and we'll be right back. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. My name is Sister Chinebum Pam. I'm from Lagos. I joined this platform last year, December 2021. It happens that on the 15th of March, Pastor Jerry, you mentioned my case. I quote, said Jerry, say, who someone he under the sound of my voice. You went to your village and burned down the shrine of your father. Since that day, say now, you are all your doors closed. You went and confronted powers that you don't have the capacity to. All your doors closed. Say, and you have been asking God, what did I do wrong? I thought I was doing the right thing. Say, mercy, have find you. Grace, have find you. Say, if you are the one, put it on the live screen. Tell us somebody under the sound of my voice. You went to your village and you burned down the shrine of your father. You burned down the shrine of your father. From that day till now, all your doors closed. All your doors closed. You went to confront power. Parabasada, that you don't have the capacity for. Rabala. Your doors closed, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you have been asking God, What did I do wrong? I thought I was doing the right thing. If you are the one, put it on the live stream. Mercy has found you, grace has found you, grace has found you, grace has found you. Can every other swim in the upon the fire? I shouted, I shouted, I said, Wow, this is my case. I shouted, I even kneel down, I said, God, I thank you for remembering me. I said, I thank you for remembering me. I said, I am delivered, I am delivered. I believe this prayer with all my heart. Pastor Jira, I was so happy because exactly what I am passing through. Since 20, 2004, I went and burned down the shrine of my father. Since that day till now, I've been passing through a lot. I will be in the dream, uh, job at fighting a lot of battle a lot of forces will be fighting against me i'll be missing things in the dream missing road 
losing things. They will be collecting things from me mysteriously. A lot have happened in my life. No favor, no bless, nothing happened. All my bless, any business I put my hand, it will close. Anything I do, there nothing will happen. Where people go and receive favor, when I go there, my own case will be they turn to another thing. I have been passing through a lot, Pastor Jerry. But I thank God. Since as you mentioned that case, since you mentioned that case till now, my dream life has changed. I have not been seeing all those Baba dreams. Sometimes I will see myself in the village. Sometimes I will see myself you are in the classroom writing it up with people that my G with my junior ones. I've been seeing a lot of things, a lot. I can't even mention all of them here now. I bet I thank God since you mentioned that case, my dream life changed. No battle, no fighting, no swimming, no losing things in the dream again. No, a lot. In fact, I thank God for delivering me. Thank God for that word of knowledge. And I pray that God, that God that put it in your mouth, you do to declare that word, will perfect it and restore everything they have collected from me. Everything I lost during all these years, since 24, 2004, then now that God will restore all of them and recover everything collected from me. Thank you, Pastor Jerry. Thank you. God bless you. Indeed, what God cannot do does not exist. Wow. Wow. 2004. 18 years. 18 years of, of closed, closed heavens. heavens. 18 heavens. years and my heart just oh, goes no. out to her because she had good intentions she had good motives but she lacked the spiritual capacity she lacked it and yeah. so she went to confront spiritual powers with, 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 with physical, physical strength. strength with physical i can't i can't, mm. you know, <laughs> I, can, I can bring no, the altars no 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 you no don't, you don't, no you don't, no you don't go that route no you don't go that you route go you know this route. testimony yes. is so instructive mm -hmm. so instructive the bible says our weapons are not canal but no. they are mighty so the through god, god through god. god not of themselves yes but through god that's where you know it's god that gives the strength yeah. he gives the strength to yes. those weapons that we do possess so she went in her you know strength and in yes. her might and unfortunately she ended up bound for 18 yeah. years and you know the bible shows up what the bible said in mark chapter 3 somewhere when the bible said that you know you cannot go to a strong man's house mm. to go and plunder him, to go and take off him without mm. first of all. You have mm. to have the capacity to bind that strong man. Mm. You mm. cannot mm. go on such missions without building up this building, that, building up capacity. that capacity. Yes. You know, when the um, do, um in the Bible times when Jesus was working on the earth yes. and the disciples were there, they had they couldn't cast out. Um, a, a sick child, mm. and they go out to ask Jesus, "Why couldn't we cast out this child?" Mm. He said, "This mm. kind, this, this kind. kind, this but kind." But eventually, by mm. the time Jesus now died, and they rose up and went to back to mm. the heaven, mm. and then the Holy mm. Spirit was released. Those there was same this, the same disciples, the same men, they were mm. able to like do mighty miracles, mighty mind so much wonders. more that even shadow, mm. even shadow, mm. even apron mm. was. Materials were used mm, to heal mm, the sick. Mm, mm, Back mm. then, they had built up so yes, much capacity yes, within yes, themselves. Yes, 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 yes. I'm reminded also about, you know, the story of the sons of Sceva oh, in the yes. Bible, the seven oh, yes. sons of Sceva, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. who went to cast out, you mm -hmm. know, a demon from a demon-possessed man. Yeah. It was seven to one. Mm -hmm. It seemed like mm -hmm. an easy battle. Yeah. I mean, they had outnumbered him, seven of them exactly. to one person. But they were unable to. The they Bible says able. that, you know, that spirit pounced on them, pounced on them overpowered them, their clothes over, stripped, stripped them naked, naked you know, yeah. and they ran and out they, and, you know, wounded and naked. There was something that the, those, the demon said. He said, Paul, I know. Yes. Peter, I know. Who are Who that? Are you? That means that the demon recognizes they that there are some systems that are operational. They recognize now. that, you know, exactly. it's in levels. There are levels. Their levels. Hmm. Just like when she now came hmm. and connected to a power hmm. that's much, much ah, higher than her. All of a sudden. Now, all of a sudden, all of a sudden she's, sudden, she's sudden. on the NSPPD, on NSPPD platform, altar. altar. Hmm. So you find out that hmm. those demons, where hmm. it started, they started hmm. in the dream. And the demon said, NSPPD author, I know. I know. And the and demon cleared out. Ha, shut up. Hey! Yes. She cleared out. Yes, yes, you know, yes, yes. She all the dreams. Mm. Oh, my God. 
God. Mm, she has mm. the dream. It manifests in the physical. Yes, they yes. They take from her in the dream. She no goes to the favor. Family, no favor. No favor. Everything was just, Everything oh my was God. Everything was falling I just, apart. I just wonder what kind of life she was living. Mm, 18 years. 18 That's a lifetime. Years. That's a 18 lifetime. Years. 18 years. 18 years. But the God of restoration, we know, is going to restore and oh. restore and restore. I tell you, you, mm. know, you know when he says, when you catch a thief, mm. he doesn't just restore, he restores with compensation. With compensation. With compensation. Ah. I look forward to her testimony. Ah, I yes, look yes, to her yes, 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 yes. I can't wait. Looking oh. forward to hearing from you again. Your testimony is complete. You have indeed been set free and been made whole. If you're just tuning in for the first time, you're watching The Strange Acts of God, click on the share button if you are yet to. Our second testifier for today is Mrs. Blessing testifying on behalf of her daughter all the way from France. You need to watch this. What God cannot do does not exist. My name is Blessing testifying from France. I joined this platform December, beginning of December. I'm here to give God all the glory, all the honor for healing my daughter from asthma. My daughter was diagnosed of asthma Janu uh, January 2021. She has been living with it. At the same time, she got a problem. She couldn't breathe. Her breath ceased. And we rushed her to the hospital again. And the doctor said she has a growth from her throat, which blocked her breath. She can no longer breathe through the knows she has they have to cut it off i was confused because she's already dealing with asthma every day we are in the hospital she can no longer breathe she doesn't breathe through her uh, her nose she breathes only through her mouth open her mouth wide every day, day and night, any three minutes. I got confused and they said she have to take this operation as quick as possible because it was very complicated with the asthma problem. My friend has been sending me this link for more than one year. I have never clicked. I have never for one day tried to even click it. In December, December 17, my daughter is got appointment for her surgery. On the 1st of December, when I joined the platform, I prayed for that day. I was like, wow, the prayer platform was fire, fire. I was like, oh, I think I will be here. The next day, I joined, I prayed again. After that day, I noticed, because we just returned from hospital, my daughter cases every day. We are in the hospital. If we give a break for not going to emergency, it's like two days. Two days I joined this platform. I noticed my daughter was has a change. The breath began to come normally. I was, oh, what is going on? I noticed she's, she slept after two nights. She's okay. She slept normal. I, I couldn't believe, I didn't even think of it is prayer because it's, it's not just two days and everything is just like that. Because normally every day, morning, afternoon, evening, she's on her drugs. We didn't give drugs, we didn't give anything. She played, she do everything. Just like that, my daughter began to sleep normally. She began to do everything perfectly from December till now. I have never smelled hospital. I have never visited hospital. Emergency ambulance have not come my home. It was like the testimony, God, what God cannot do does not exist to. Hey, God, I couldn't believe it because I have been keeping this testimony since December to say, okay, let me wait. Let me see if this will come up. Because normally on the 17th of December, she has to undergo this surgery. We got appointment with the consultant on the 17th of December, which after then she go for the surgery. I'm getting with the consultant. They look at her, they check, and they said, ah, she's okay, she's fine. I don't see any need of surgery. I said, okay. 
I know she's fine, but we got the appointment, that is why I'm here. They said, okay, but if you want, we can see go on with the surgery. I said, no, I don't want. They said, no, you have nothing to worry about, but what we see now, she's okay. I said, okay, give me two, three months, let me watch her. Then after we come back for appointment, they said, okay, fine, you can do anything. It's your choice, because what you are saying here, she's okay. Indeed. Since December till today, oh God, what God cannot do does not exist. My daughter has not taken medication. She has never breathed with her mouth. She sleeps perfectly. She's been healthy. No more medication. No more asthma. She's perfectly okay. She's fine. No more asthma, no more oppression. Everything is okay now. I just want to return all the glory. I want to say, God, thank you. I want to appreciate this God because I don't even know. I don't know how it happened. I couldn't believe that from prayer online, God will deliver my doctor. God will change my story. My family testimony is turning around. Pastor Jerry, thank you. And my joy knows no ban because... Now, from how many months now since December, I have never visited hospital. My daughter is fine. Everything in my home is in peace. I say thank you, God. What God cannot do does not exist. Wow. <laughs> Did you see that? See the joy on the mother's Did face. Did you see that? Did you see the before and, and after? after? I love, love, love testimonies <laughs> such as this. I, know you I do. love testimony. It is clear, yeah, it is evident. It speaks for itself. It, spe it speaks for itself. Exactly. You know, in law, we call this res ipsa locator. Eh? The no, facts <laughs> speak for itself. It's a Latin maxim. Res, res ipsa locator. <laughs> yes. The facts speak for themselves. Clear, clear, no, clear, 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 clear. clear. Hmm. Very clear. Very clear and evident. Oh, I love Glory the mother's to God. smile, the yes. mother's face. You yes, could tell, yes, you could yes, tell yes. The mother had been, the she had been living in fear and anxiety. Exactly. Imagine having to go to the ER two, two times, no, two days, two, two days, days interval. Two days. No, hmm. you, what you should imagine is that when the child is sleeping yes. and having those obstructive symptoms and she's just watching, mm. waiting that, oh Lord, let mm. nothing happen to this child over the night. Mm. That's she can die in her sleep. Oh my goodness. My we goodness. About, we're talking about two conditions mm. coexisting together. Coexisting. Coexisting together. Hmm. Tell me, asthma. Asthma is asthma incurable. True. Asthma is an irreversible, chronic irreversible wow. condition. It's a chronic irreversible condition. Wow. So, so it's not, just managed. It's just managed. Mm. You manage asthma. And then to compound it all, that you're not having a child having asthma on one hand. Now, look at this. Um, what the child had is an adenotonsillar disease. Mm. And then also had, from the mother's testimony, that the child was diagnosed of asthma in 2011, right? No, Good. last year. Last year. 21. Now, you now have an upper airway disease mm. and a lower airway disease mm. coexisting together mm. in one child. This is a bad mystery. Mm. And neither of them are reversible. You know, neither of them are reversible. Mm. So the you growth know has to be surgically removed. Surgically removed. You know, what happens is this, you know, have, these are, the adenoids and the tonsils are normal lymphoid organs. Okay. They grow when you're ex when exposed to either any, uh, sometimes it could be an allergen, yes. it could be a, an infection, mm. mostly like viral infections, especially mm. in children. Mm. Now, when they grow, they can grow to such a level that they cause obstruction of the airway. Now, mm. understand, the normal airway has a very important function of clearing secretions. Mm. So when those secretions cannot be cleared adequately from the airway, mm. you see that a lot of them get trapped, either forming ear infections, mm. forming recurrent um, um, tonsillitis. Most importantly, in children, when they are sleeping, you now find that some of them now track down the airway. Mm. In tracking down the airway, they cause irritation of the smooth muscles on the airway mm. and cause narrowing. So the mm. child can mm. rather have mm. an mm. acute asthmatic attack, which can be fatal, mm. which can be totally fatal. Mm. So she was scheduled for a surgery mm. in December. Yes. And 
She didn't undergo, her she child didn't, didn't undergo the no. surgery. She was off of medication Medications. from for, two irreversible from conditions. December, from, from December, December from up December. until now. Ah, and you know one thing, eh? Scheduling for these surgeries is yes. something that you can actually be managing with um, antibiotics, mm. managing with um, antihistamines, decongestants, mm. steroids. So those can shrink the adenoids. They mm. can shrink the tonsils. Mm. They can reduce the obstruction, medically mm. speaking. But it gets to a time when it, it becomes very recurrent. Mm. When it becomes very recurrent, option is for surgery. Option One. is for surgery. Also, when they are already causing complication, look yes. at that child. Yes. Look at that child sleeping. Yes. Now mm. imagine how much how much sleep that child can get. Mm. So you now find that some children wake up, have that sleep apnea, whereby during sleep they have problem with breathing. Some of them have problems with sleeping. It affects their daily life. Waking mm. up in the morning, behavioral abnormalities, they have um, school uh, problems with sleep, recurrent headaches, a lot of complications that can develop because they are not getting adequate sleep because of the obstruction of the airway. Mm. But most importantly, let's not lose sight of this, yes. that this child also had asthma. Yes. And asthma on its own is a fatal condition, even though well controlled. Yes. So you yes. can find out that child could be in school Hmm. and probably exposed to a respiratory tract infection, yes. which also is a trigger for asthma, hmm. which can cause a sudden narrowing of the airway, hmm. which can cause death. Hmm. But help came early for this child. After two days. Two days. Two days on the NSVPD altar After two days. while seeking the face After of God. And the child begins to breathe normally. No surgery, no medication. No medications. In fact, surgery was canceled. Mm -hmm. They said it was no longer and, necessary. And, and, the, and, the, and the surgeon, the ENT surgeon said, whenever you want. Whatever you <laughs> want. Whatever you want. Glory to you know, God. These are not common times to Glory use to the God. Glory so to that, God. That means that they must have seen that yes. the airway was now patent. There was no need no for it need anymore. For the the so God not, of the fire altar had showed up I and showed he had up. performed the surgery performed all the by surgery. himself. Why would I be on this platform? There's no reason. There's no reason not to. <laughs> Why would ah, I be on this altar? Ah, glory to yeah. God. Glory yes. to God. <laughs> Our third and final testimony for today mind-blowing wonder you need to watch this i'm back again um uh, i don't remember the month it's over one year now i think that my neighbor where i live a little girl that's my neighbor the girl was going to school in the morning was crossing the zebra crossing and a car knocked out from the road the girl is too close to my kids he comes to my house almost every day and suddenly one after he was she was going to school and that accident happened when the, my wife called me and told me about it i started crying i said how is she is she okay i started asking questions suddenly they told me that she's brain damaged they are doing everything to save her but she's brain damaged they don't know if she will come out of it that morning i told my wife tell the mother if they can put phone in that room where she they said they cannot put phone there i said okay i will pray for her i'll put her on the platform which i did i sent a picture like this i sent a picture like this if you people will remember to the platform i sent a picture like this where she was in coma where she was brain dead i sent a picture like this and i asked the church to pray for her because she's battling with her life that she she's in she's in the coma brain dead that i'm praying that i'm pray, i'm begging for people for the platform to pray for her so she can come back alive even while i was saying this i was crying i was shedding tears i think about it how can this girl i see every day i don't see her anymore how would I feel? How would things go with me? How would my son feel? My son was crying throughout the night because of this little girl. And suddenly, a testimony came. I was in the platform that morning praying. And Pastor, Pastor Eze said, there's a little girl in a the coma. They said she's brain dead. They said she's brain dead. My God, it was overwhelming. And the word was, I was shocked. Really, I was really shaking when Pastor Eze was saying it. Immediately, I, I called my wife. I said, 
You see, they have talking about PPs. They were talking about PP now. Put the phone on. You will hear about PP. I was just shouting at work. Then the next day, the father went to the hospital to stay with the girl. Then I, the, the, I asked my wife, who is there with the PP? How is PP doing? Then my wife called me and said that the father held PP's hand and asked PP to press his hand if he can hear him. And PP pressed the father's hand. Somebody said he's brain dead. And he pressed the father's hand after a while that afternoon. Before 5 and 6 in the evening, PP has opened his eyes. PP opened his eyes and then before the next, in the morning the next day, he woke up and started to ask for food. You see, it can only be God. The miracle from this platform is touching whoever you think you are. It goes round. It goes to everywhere and bring out you from any hole that you are. And I thank God for this platform. Pastor Eze, I celebrate you for all the good things you've been doing, all the prayers you've been praying for us. I don't know how to pray myself, but I'm learning. Before God and man, I am overwhelmed with what comes out over from this platform. And I thank God from the bottom of my heart for all the blessings that I have received from this platform. And I thank you. It's because of you guys that is, that is doing this. You don't sleep. You don't, you just fast for us. You sometimes they say fast. I can't even fast myself. And you still do it. And everything still comes suddenly with success. And I'm here to thank you. I thank God for it in Jesus name. Amen. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Pee -pee, pee -pee. <laughs> brain dead, yes. brain dead. Mm -hmm. Those are two powerful words. You mm -hmm. don't even want to hear them put together in a sentence. <laughs> brain dead. Ah, brain hey, and dead. <laughs> hey, hey, my goodness. Yes. You know, he used these terms interchangeably. He said yes. coma at some point. He said brain dead said brain at some damaged, point. Brain damage. Brain damage. You know, coma, yes. Brain dead. Yes. What is know? the difference? Now, is there a difference? Yes, a difference. And what is that difference? You know, the first thing first is that this child had uh, was trying to cross a zebra crossing. Yes. And then this child was hit. Mm. by a car mm. and then most likely the child had a brain in, a, a head injury yes, yes, so yes. when the child had a brain a head injury and was taken to the hospital mm. so there are signs that would suggest that the child had a brain damage yes so those are the first things that we're okay. going to say that the child okay. would have had some features that would suggest that the child had a brain damage, brain damage. now in the course of assessing the child we now want to know the level of responsiveness mm. so the level of responsiveness you now do what a kind of a scale called a glasgow comma scale okay. to know how responsive this child is yes the last of the coma scale suggests that the child is in coma Okay. So this is now a coma state. Okay. Now, the next part of it where you now find out that over time mm. or at the same time, mm. you now see that apart from the fact that the child is, a coma is a state of deep unresponsiveness to external stimuli. Okay. You try to tell, stand up, he cannot stand. Okay. You pinch, he makes, he cannot even move. Mm. You try to tell him to open his mouth, he cannot open the mouth. But so he's still alive. He's still alive. Okay. So the functions, the brainstem functions, which are the brainstem functions are those ones that control breathing, spontaneous breathing, yes. the heart rate, yes. blood pressure, and some other unconscious stimuli mm. is still active in that state. Right. So when we get to the point whereby, one, there's an irreversible injury, yes. which was the accident mm. and brain injury. Mm. Then you now have coma, mm. and then you now have that brainstem function is no longer active, hmm. then we now say that this person is brain dead. Brain dead. dead. Wow. So That's the not, end of the road. It's not a diagnosis that anybody just makes. Yes. It's yes. a specialist diagnosis hmm. because there are specific criteria that must have been reached for hmm. you to be able to say that this person is brain dead. Hmm. Yeah. So what is done at this stage? Brain dead. What, what is, what's left? Legally. Yes. Clinically. Hmm. Person is dead. Ha. So you can take you can take some decisions yes. on that person. Mm. If let's assume right now, if the person wants to donate some organs, mm. organs can be harvested at this point because mm. legally this person is dead. 
clinically also, because the brainstem functions are no longer mm. responsive. You can take the person off ventilator and tell the person, it's bye-bye. It's so over. It's over. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So this was a dead person coming back to coming life. Leave all this coma, <laughs> brain was, brain was. This person was dead. That's exactly, the summary of the exactly, matter. Exactly, because hmm. the diagnosis must have been made for him to be able to like be as told. Yes. Because he could have just said he was in coma. Hmm. But they, were, they specifically said it was brain dead. Hmm. So hmm. Oh, let's hmm. work with that. Hmm. <laughs> Glory to God. You know, this... Um, girl that was, you know, brain dead. Her parents are not even on the platform. No, no, no. It's someone else, someone a, neighbor, else a neighbor. A neighbor that decided neighbor. to, you know, spread life it's to a dead, like situation. A dead situation. Decided to take life mm -hmm. to a dead situation and he tells them, put this phone by her mm -hmm. bedside. Yeah. Put this I mean, phone by her bedside. You know, for me, what's uh, very amazing is that no matter what he's trying to say, mm. is he trying to say she was in coma, she was brain damaged, she yes. was brain dead? The recovery was too profound. Yes, the, yes, the yes, rate yes, of yes. recovery, it ah. was, the speed was just too much for mm, me to understand. Mm, mm. First, consciously, consciously, yes. consciously, the father said, move your hands. Move your hands. And the child moved and their hands moved in the, hand. by the next day. And that can be in a, you know, in a state of a coma because you said the coma is involuntary movement. Involuntary movement. movement. They are yes. involuntary movement, not voluntary movement. Mm. Because that's when you have, you have established that this person yes, is in coma. Yes, yes, yes. At that state mm. that you have said, this person is in a coma, the person is unresponsive to your coma except that whatever is causing the coma is not being reversed. Right. And it's not a two-day thing. Right. Right. Especially right. for a traumatic brain injury to that ah. point that we're seeing the child was already in intubated, ah. was already on tubes, ah. and in that level of unresponsiveness, mm. Ah, mm. it was too mm. sudden. But she responded, and the next day she was eating and talking. You know, that's one of the things that we used to assess, assess for brain, uh, brain death. Yes. Gag reflex. The oh, ability right. to swallow. Okay. The ability to swallow. Ah. So once a child, a person is not able to, the gag reflex is lost. The um, cornea, the, 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 uh, when you shine a touchlight into the eye and the eyes are no longer blinking, yes. then you can, and then other, fact, other, other, um, other um, uh, factors there. But this particular one, by mm. the next day, by the next ah. day, was demanding for food. For, for food. That means that we're saying that all neurological functions yes, were yes, being, yes, were, had yes, been restored yes. within two days. Glory to God. Mm. Glory to mm. God. Mm. Glory mm. to mm. God. Mm. You know, oh. Uh, why stand along? It's <laughs> except you see these patients yes. when they have this traumatic brain injury. Of yes. course, we already know that it's it's not like a 50-50 chance, it's like an 80-20 chance. Wow. 80 chance that they're wow. going to survive and wow. 20 and they're wow. not going to die, wow. and 20% chance that they might just stay for a little bit of time. And even if they do survive, what's the state, you know, their quality of life quality after of that? Quality of life after that. What's the quality of life after that? But, you know, this is a girl that has been restored to life. She's talking, she's eating, and, you know, every, you know, body functionality is at a hundred. At a hundred. Glory, glory, glory it's, to it's, God. It's, it's, it's glory to God. God. Glory to God. God. This <laughs> is a wonder. Yeah. This is a wonder. You know? This is a strange act of God. Yeah. Glory to yes. God. <laughs> ah! 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 The testimonies we've heard today. They are amazing. The testimonies they are we've heard amazing. today. We saw 18 years 18 of affliction. Years. 18 know, years of close for heavens. For me as a doctor. Mm. For me as a doctor. Yes. That child. That child, the before and the look, look who oh. is still. <laughs> That, Rest was, is that, of that, was, that, that was too amazing. Yes, too phenomenal yes, for me yes, yes. Because I'm just imagining mm. anything could trigger asthma, any asthma crisis in that child. Yes, yes, anything. yes. And Anything. God healed her and, and then reversed this particular the last, growth. last testimony, yes. I'm sure that child had been given up for dead. Our third testimony, brain dead. Brain dead. What mm. had been given up, had been mm. given up. You mm. know, in mm. such mm. moments, doctors are just watchful waiting. Yes. <laughs> watchful watch. waiting. Let's, Let's watch, watch and, and see. see. Ah. Let's watch and see. Ah. Clinically, legally, ah. we're not held accountable. Yes. Let's watch and see. Oh. But God came oh. through. Oh. Oh, God, God came, came through. through. God came Glory through. to God. Yeah. Glory to yeah. God. <laughs> Glory to God. What he cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. <laughs> Period. Period. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, oh Dr. Dr. Kelechi, yes. thank you so much thank for your you time. So We're about much. to wrap up. Thank Can you say you. something to our viewers? Oh. I can't wait to carry my double portions. <laughs> Hallelujah. It I is a week of double, double portion. portion. Yes. So just stay on this altar. This mm. week, 
ah, please, I look forward to hearing your testimony. Amen. And I look forward to coming to analyze your testimony on the strange acts of God. Mm. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you, Vice mm. Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Dr. Kelechi. You know, I listened to these testimonies of today, yeah. and I have just one prayer. Mm. Lord, whatever you're doing on this altar, mm. do not do it without me. Mm. I'm not going to be a spectator. At all. I'm going to be a partaker. Yes, so uh, we will not just be analyzers. We, we won't be analyzers no, or no, reviewers. No, no. We will carry, carry. our a own double, testimonies. Double, double portion. portion. That yes, is my prayer. Yes, so. And that should be the prayer of every, every single person, person on NSPPD. Whatever you are doing in this season and on this platform, ah. It will not be missing in my life. No. I will see it in my life. I will see it in my business. I will see it in my it's children. In, in my every life. area, yeah. this fire must show up. Oh, glory to glory God. To what God. a wonderful time yes. we've had today. Yes. There's no reason to not be on the altar of fire. I need you to make, you know, that commitment to return here and continue to seek the face of God daily, 7 a.m. Nigerian time, Monday to Friday, NSPPD continues. Make it a date with us. God is waiting. Heaven is waiting. Is ready with your testimonies. And something tells me you are next in line to testify. The strange acts of God will be right back Saturday morning, 7 a.m. Nigerian time. Join us. Join us. Join us. Do you have a testimony? Endeavor to send in your testimony to our testimony testimony number written at the bottom of the screen. Thank you so much for joining us today. Dr. Kelechi, always a pleasure. <laughs> always Thank you pleasure for coming back pleasure to shed light on these testimonies. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Till next time, remember that what God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. Hey.